everyone, Marlene here from Buffalo Chuck Chicks. And today I have a very super simple but super cute craft project. All the items, most of them anyways, are from the Dollar Tree. So I found this really cute sailboat. And this is just a plastic pot. I like the size of this one. And then these are just some boxwood greenery that I actually did get these from Walmart. Now use what greenery you have. And as you will see, I don't end up using these flowers. I forgot that I had bought special blue and white flowers for this project. <laughs> so I ended up putting them back. Now I need one dowel. And you can use a shish kebab spear, just uh, break off the point. And you're gonna need your glue gun. And I have some of that nautical rope and a little piece of foam in the bottom of my planter. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue, and I have to laugh, look at this glue gun. Oh my goodness, it is a mess. But it is my favorite little one, and uh, yeah, it's a mess. So I'm going to glue this wooden dowel on the back side of the sailboat so I can push it down into the foam. So check it first for your height. See if you need it taller or shorter. And really, they just snap off. So this is so cute. It says, gone to the beach. And it has a little tiny starfish. So I'm going to take my nautical rope. This is that white rope. Um, you could use the brown rope or anything you have, ribbon, whatever you have on hand. And I am going to hot glue it around the edge of this flower pot. And I decided to do it above and below this uh, area here. So I have a double uh, rope area. And I think that looks so cute and very nautical. And that was so easy. I just really tacked it down in a few places. So here's that gone to the beach sailboat. And isn't that cute? I ended up using a square um, foam instead of the round. The round one just didn't fit down in there right. Whoops, gotta get a glass of, a drink of my <laughs> iced tea. I have this huge big glass of iced tea. I sip on it all day long. <laughs> ah, very refreshing. And it's hot here, about 108 degrees today. Okay, so I've got the little beach sign down in the pot and I just added my greenery. Now you don't have to add greenery or you can use greenery you already have. Don't go out and make a special trip for it. It's too hot. <laughs> Okay, so these are those flowers that I did buy specifically for this project, the white and the blue. So let's put the patriotic aside and save them for another day. And I have a big bin of flowers in my stash and they are my go-to for all my projects. And I probably use more of these um, patriotic roses on the 4th of July because I plan on decorating my house and doing a little home tour for that. But for now, let's put them aside. So these are mums. And those blue ones, I don't know if they're dahlias or what they are, but they're pretty. All of these are from, yep, they're dahlias. All of these are just from the Dollar Tree. So this is how I take my tags off. Aren't those pesky little tags that they stick on there? I just pull the flower off and then pull the tag straight up and then just put the flower back in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my flowers in. I'm just going to go around alternating the white with the blue, white and blue. 
Look at all that stuff on my kitchen table. Things I'm going through. I'm still going through some items and planning on taking a lot to goodwill. Hopefully it'll get done today. <laughs> now I didn't bother painting the backside of the sailboat because this is going to go in a corner. Now if you want, you could just paint the whole thing white or, or whatever. Um, you know, if you don't want to see that cardboardy look on the back but like I say this is going in a corner so I'm not even going to worry about it now after I got all these flowers in I realized you couldn't see the entire sign <laughs> so I went back and I pulled them out and put them back in I had to shorten them a little bit so I've gone to the beach with that little starfish and nautical uh, sign up there. I think this is a darling sign. And there's my two layers of the nautical white rope around it. I really like the way this came out. And this is so simple. Sometimes I just like to do fast little craft projects. Oh, well, my daughter made some homemade cookies while I was crafting and they are coconut Samoas drizzled with chocolate and boy were they good thank you Lisa <laughs> so I made a little bow out of the rest of the nautical rope and I tied the ends in a knot and then I just frayed the ends of it and I think this came out so cute and because it has a little starfish on the on the sailing ship, I thought I would just go ahead and hot glue a little starfish right on the rope. With my messy hot glue gun. I don't care, it still works. <laughs> I actually have a new one, but I like this one. So I just glued that right down in the middle. And I did tack the back of the bow down too with a little hot glue just so it stays so I'm gonna put it right here in the center of my floral just needed a little something something <laughs> this would be a great project to do with the grandkids because it's just so easy so there's my little bow and I think that really added to the look of it. And I really like the fringed look at the end below those knots. Gone to the beach. I used to go to the beach all the time when I lived in California. In fact, from my front yard, you could actually see the beach. I was only about a mile off the beach. That starfish is cute. Okay, so this is the little corner. I put it in, out in my dining room, and I have a, a little silver uh, plate and a starfish plate, a pair of flip-flops that says, uh, catch me by the sea, and then my little floral, all sitting on top of a little uh, blue placemat. This is adorable. Now those starfish, I don't know if I mentioned, you can find them at the Dollar Tree. They're three in a little bag for $1.25. Isn't that sweet? I really like the way this looks together. Just a little vignette. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing to our channel. And stay tuned for more. It's Beach Week. Yay! Bye for now. Love you guys.